Call is a body. My name is Thomas McKenzie. You can call me Canadian Tom because everyone does. Does anybody want to know why they call me Canadian Tom? Why? Minnesota. Because I'm from Sula Goods in Manitoba. Roll with me here. Gee, eh? Do we have any other fellow Canadians out here? Do we have this guy with a beard? No. Yeah, you? No. Boom shot. Not even. 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 Not and I'm like, well, where's that? He's like, oh, you know, it's normal. It's where the bizarre people are. <laughs> I laugh so hard I fin off my boots. <laughs> I understand what he means now. Really. <laughs> but anyway, but you know, it was a good time for me to come down here. Um, recently, I found out that my girlfriend got her beaver shell behind my back. Seriously. Yeah, his name was his name was Roger, and he was my pet too. I thought he would be it would be better if he was cremated, but no, she wants him stuffed and looking at her every day. I lost, I lost my furry friend. Anyway, so um, I packed up all my stuff. I uh, packed up my board. I have a board. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. And uh, you know, I came on down there, and you know, it was an easy pick. It's coming all the way down here. But uh, until I got to the border. Oh, that's when I got in a sticky situation, eh? Oh, sure. Stickier than a, a moth in a uh, maple syrup factory. She doesn't know. Anyway, so... Uh, what did I decide to say? Alright, so I go to the border, and I don't know how it is for you Americans going into the most excellent area of Canada, eh? But, um, you know, it's really easy to get to Canada, but coming here to the U.S. of A, it's really, really tough. <laughs> because I don't know what it's always like here, I just got here, but the security guards are really intense. Like, well, here, you know, I'm doing the question. I'm, you know, I'm like, no day, no day, no day, no time to prepare and things. So I go up to the security guy at the border office, and he's giving me these weird questions. Like, he comes up to me and goes, uh, I see that you're uh, driving a BMW. You uh, Jewish or something? And I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm Protestant, I'm Lutheran. Like, we're going to have a conversation because that's what we do, of course. I mean, it's always polite courtesy. But, um, you know, he keeps going on, giving me strange questions like, says you, you're from Sioux Lookout? Is that some kind of cult or something? And by this point, he keeps going on and on about things, dropping some racial slurs, calling them like great white north, please. <laughs> Those are the guys who have the Canadian flag on the back of their tr pickup truck, you know, who don't really know what math is yet. But I get to the point where I know he's fucking with me. So I am a red-blooded Canadian, all right? I'm not red, white, and blue like you guys. You, you, you pick a color, I got one. That's all I need. So, <laughs> so I'll pick I'm not going to take this. So I start fucking with him back. So he goes up and goes, so what's your uh, purpose of visiting our great nation? And I go, having an orgy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to get lots of girls. Uh, guys, I think. Whoa. Those guys in the back, maybe not so much. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we like to have like, a, a lot of sex. We get together and take off our clothes. This guy with the balls, maybe. The <laughs> <laughs> guy with the balls. We have a lot of sex. That's what the boat's for. We go out in the water in our boat, and we just have sex all night. So because of that, the Canadian, the guy was just done. He let me go in. I don't know why. <laughs> so now I'm here. Um, I met up with my cousin, had a good time, I uh, got a six pack, I got loaded, uh, really loaded on oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gosh, I, I didn't even go bowling, which is really good. <laughs> this guy was talking about, right? yeah. Um, yeah, I passed out, and about, uh, what was it, like two hours ago, I woke up here. And, uh, you know, people are walking in, I'm like, what's going on, eh? And they're like, we're going to go to the theater of Ted. I'm like, who the fuck is Ted, and why does he have a theater? <laughs> I would very much like to meet this Ted, because, as you know, I'm Canadian, if you haven't already guessed. And yeah, I'm a very funny person, so I'd like to meet Ted. So, um, Ted, you here? Ted? 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 <laughs> no, not Ted. 
<laughs> That's just silly, eh? That's a game. No, actually, my mother's name is Ted. <laughs> anyway, so um, I guess Ted's in here today. So. I mean, no. Um, no. Um, so if you ever see Ted, uh, tell him who I am. And, um, you know, since you Americans are so uneducated about the most excellent place of Canada, so Parish knows what's up, um, I would like to sing to you a little song uh, to get you in the Canadian spirit, eh? Um, if you know the words, that's great. Um, you know, i got to get myself in the mood here. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, question, does anybody have a bra to donate for the sake of this song? Yes? Come on up. Yeah, come on up. Intermission gear. There's a mirror. <laughs> 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 Uh, um, this is a sing along, so if you know the words, uh, sing along with me. Alright. I need that back. No promises. <laughs> yeah, Canada. Like I said, I promise we'll give it back. <laughs> I'm a lumberjack in MOK. Okay. Keep on that and work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. All night, I, all day. I cut down trees, I eat my lunch, I go to the leather tree. On Wednesdays, I go shopping and have butter scones for tea. Cut down trees, she goes to the leather tree. I cut down trees, she goes to the leather tree. I'm a jack and I'm moving. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He works all night and sleeps all day. Down trees, I wear my heels, suspenders, and this bra. I wish I'd been a girly, just like my dear papa, grandpa, 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 grand